The wild card symbols, the asterisk and the question mark, can expand the scope of your search. Let's begin with the asterisk symbol. The asterisk symbol is the truncation symbol and broadens your search. Use it to expand your search beyond the root word you are searching. For example, I will search aging as a descriptor search and the word stress with an asterisk at the end as a keyword search. I then click the search button. The database will retrieve all records that contain the descriptor aging and all forms of the root word stress, such as stressed, stressful, etc. For example, record number one was retrieved because the word stress is included in the abstract, whereas record number three was retrieved because the word stressed is included in the abstract. The asterisk symbol is also used as the multi-character wildcard symbol. It is used to find terms with alternative spellings. For example, I will search animal learning as a descriptor search and the word behavior but with an asterisk between the letters V and R. The asterisk indicates an unlimited number of characters within a word. I then click the search button. The first record was retrieved with the word behavior spelled in this manner. Considered the British spelling. Whereas record number four was retrieved with the word behavior spelled in this manner. Considered the American spelling. The question mark symbol is the single character wildcard symbol. It is used for finding terms with alternative spellings that contain one character within a word or at the end of a word. For example, I will search social dating as a descriptor search and WOM question mark N and I click the search button. The database will retrieve records that contain the word woman or women. The first ten records were retrieved because the word women or women's appeared in the abstract. Whereas record eleven was retrieved because the word woman is in the abstract. Note, however, that the question mark symbol can be used twice to represent two characters within a word. Three question marks would represent three characters, and so on. 